Good morning, everybody. We have a barefoot body weight conditioning. Happy Wednesday. If you're watching on demand, great work logging in, getting it going. We're going to start on the floor with our barefoot massage here. Kathleen, good morning. Nice to see you. I'm going to get my timer started here and just grab a leg. We'll do the basic, the basic massage, just starting in on your calves. You can go for maybe the rolling pin using your thumbs, pressing up and down. Here comes the team. Welcome everybody. Nice to see you. Start on in on a leg and just start to feel your body, right? See, we're possibly halfway through your work week. Today's my Monday, so it's always kind of funny. I'm off on Mondays and Tuesdays. But if you guys have been moving and grooving the last few days, you might feel a little bit sore, have some tight spots here. Maybe you got outside for a walk in some spring sunshine. And just feeling all the bits. You have lots of muscles in your calves here, right? A couple different muscle groups all come together. You can kind of press in, move some muscles aside, get deep down in there. All right, team, who do we have? My mom and dad are here, Melody and Tucker. Kathleen's here, Cheryl's here. Mary's here. Welcome back from your trip, Mary. I saw a few of your pictures on social media. It looked amazing. The skiing looked great. The hiking, what fun. Ah, oh, very cool. Dawn's here. Good morning. Liz is here. Cleo. Tracy's here. And Tracy, I'm excited to you guys. I was gone last week. Let's move down to the top of our foot here before I get started and we end up on our calves for 10 minutes. <laughs> well, before I get started talking. So just move and down on the top of your skin here. I went to uh, Grand Canyon last week. We did a road trip out to Arizona with my family. Tracy made a little comment that she gets to go in the fall, I think, and it's so fun. We did some hiking and moving all around in the park there. Let's go ahead, take your, your hand to a fist, foot up on your other leg and just give it a little pound. Who else is here? Valerie's in the house. Good morning, Valerie. Molly's here. Megan's here. Amanda's here. Ashley's here, Virio's here, and Michelle. Fabulous team, great to see everybody. Yeah, it was fun, we went to Sedona on a little road trip. Yeah, Kathleen, oh my gosh, it was so fun. And I kind of was like, do you just walk along the canyon and you look at stuff? Like I don't, I get that it's amazing. And then we got there and we got to walk down in the canyon on two different trails and took the bus, rode our bikes, walked around. I was like, man, I think the one thing I wish that I had done was brought my yoga mat to the edge somewhere and like done some sunrise or sunset yoga next time. It's kind of busy. It's a little hard to like plop down with the crowds and do your yoga, but let's go ahead for a little massage here. Just keeping that hand in a fist, but it was fun. And then Sedona is amazing. Sedona, Arizona just has right in the middle of town, these huge, crazy red rocks just right there. My husband kept saying, I feel like this should be a national park. Like the town itself should be a national park. It's so beautiful. So anyway, hopefully people are getting outside and enjoying some nature wherever you are, even if it's just your backyard, right? Just get outside, hear the bees buzzing, the birds chirping, maybe some, some dirt or some grass under your feet. And then I always like to use my fist and then I, I go to my thumbs here and start to just press up on the ball of my foot, kind of hold my, my fingers but on the top of my foot and use my thumbs there. And just working in the meaty part of your foot. It's kind of that landing pad when you're jumping, you're landing on this little strip at the base of your toes. It does very important work for us. And then move out to your toes here, the ball of each toe, the pad of each toe, give them a little squeeze. Excellent, Kathy, good morning. Great to see you. And then I'm just gonna put my foot back up here and go for those toe gymnastics. So just get a little bit of movement with your toes, grabbing onto one toe and another toe, moving them back and forth past one another and working down the toes. And then when you get down to your pinky toe or down to the end, start to spread them out a little bit, make some space and then slide your fingers in and just give yourself a little handshake, a little squeeze, a little hug. I'm just trying to see if you can work your fingers down toward the base of your toes, spread them out a little bit. Excellent, and then take those fingers out. 
Morning, Alex. Great to see you. Give your foot a little roll out. All right, and then on to the other side, you guys. So just grab that other leg, <clears throat> work into your calves. All right, team, and we are 18 strong today. I always include myself in that number. I always think, do I, do I take myself out of the number? But I showed up too, right? We're all in, in it together. Here we go. And I didn't do very many VFIT classes while I was gone. We didn't have great internet. It was kind of nice. Our first campsite for three nights had zero cell phone service. And there was only internet at their little like office building, not at the campsites. So it was kind of really glorious to just be without any connection, any anything. But then I usually when I'm camping, it's kind of fun to get up and do a VFIT class or something. But it was kind of nice to sleep in and have my cup of tea and hang out a little bit with my family in the morning because I don't do that as much. All right, working around here. Maybe you like that kind of press up and down, feeling your skin, moving some fluid around. Maybe you like to dig in on those muscles, see how they feel. Let's take it down to your ankle bone, feeling around in there, out to the top of your foot, top of your toes. Being gentle on the top of your foot, right? Not a lot of meat there. You don't wanna press on any of those tiny little bones too hard. And then we'll take that foot up and go for the pound. Put your hand in a fist, working around on your heel. And this is kind of the idea that you're plumping it, that you're causing a little bit of irritation and some blood's gonna flow into your feet here. Then you're just kind of warming them up. My toes are cold here. Even as I pound, I can just feel my skin a little bit cold and clammy. I, I just got out of bed. I haven't moved around much yet today. And make sure you get up by the base of your toes here, ball of your foot. And then we'll take that foot down for a massage. All right. And just feeling around on the base of your foot. And this is such a good one, you guys, if you're, if you're able in your day to slip your shoes off and just give your, touch your feet a little bit, right? Don't be afraid of feet. My, I always think about in this class, my college roommate could not touch her feet or have anybody else touch her feet. She couldn't even get pedicures. She like was so tickly and so weirded out by feet. I was like, oh girl, your feet are so sad. You got to get in there and love on them. They work hard for us. And then using your thumbs on the ball of your foot here, working your fingers in there maybe on your heel too, just whatever feels good. There's no right or wrong way to do this. You don't have to stick with my, my suggestions. And then out to the pads of your toes, your big toe, working your thumb against the pad of your big toe and down to those little tiny toes, giving them a little squeeze. And then we'll put your foot back up here and go for some toe gymnastics. Work in toes forward and back. And then spread them out, make some space, slide your fingers down in. And maybe now, maybe it's getting warmer where you live and you're starting to wear sandals a little more, maybe getting out of socks and shoes. Maybe your toes are feeling the air, getting some space to spread out. Our feet get so cramped up in our shoes all the time. They're kind of always in this position. It's nice to move them around, strengthen our feet, move our feet, use our ankles. All right, pull those fingers out. Give your toes a little wiggle. Roll your ankle bones. So team, we're gonna get started. Grab a drink of water. We have 20 minutes here. We're going one minute of everything. Um, we don't really repeat. No, that's a lie. We repeat everything twice in there. I think we do. So we're going to start with a down dog. We have about 30 seconds till my timer kicks over to our first one minute. Let's actually sit back. If you can, sit back on your heels for just a little angry toe pose. Toes are tucked under, stretching the back of your foot. And we'll just stretch out there. If you were already up and down dog, go for it. We're going to do a minute of down dog, stretching our calves getting our shoulders warm, 
working our way in. So just start to come forward here. Walk yourselves out, lift your hips and just start to pedal out your feet. Just a little bit of movement after sitting there and working, working, working our feet. There we go. Oh, so our first one minute is just this down dog and you're upside down. I also think there's really good health benefits to getting a little blood flow to your brain, right? But this doesn't feel good for everyone. So you could be up on a wall or at a table or you can let your head hang upside down. And if it feels good, you could start to just bend two knees, keep your legs still, and then start to straighten those knees, press your heels to the floor, lifting up your hips, trying to do, get this little arch in your back here. And maybe that stillness, for me in the morning, that stillness doesn't feel good. So I'm gonna go back to marching out my feet, pressing one heel to the floor, pressing the other heel to the floor, and just getting a stretch down the back of my legs. It's also really good arm work, right? This, this is kind of like a, a type of plank. You're getting lots of great shoulder work here, pressing into your arms. All right, here we go. Walk your feet in. We're gonna get into a little cougar lunge, a side to side lunge. So just spreading your feet out. Maybe you can touch the ground, but if you, if you are hands on the ground, I want shoulders above hips. Maybe you come here, hands to legs, and we're just gonna start getting into some movement. More and more here. Ah, moving, pressing one leg straight and then the other leg straight. All right, so team, like I said, we were, we were on a bit of a hiking trip last week, Grand Canyon, Sedona. So this is a hiking inspired. So when we hiked in the Grand Canyon, we went 1,200 feet down in a mile and a half. And then we had to climb back up. So we're doing lots of lunges today. That idea of catching yourself and pressing up to work on some hiking muscles, getting good, strong quads, glutes, calves. All right, four, three. We're gonna take it to the front here. Bring your feet in. You're going to step out, catch yourself, press back up. Step, drop, and press back up. So a front lunge here, taking a big step out, down, and up. So we'll go to the front on this set for a minute. We'll go to the back on the next minute, and then we'll go side to side. So here I like lunges for this moment of weightlessness. Press up with your back heel, let yourself fall, catch yourself, power yourself back up. You have big, strong quads, right? Use those to press up. You can do whatever you want with hands. They could be out for balance. They could be at hips, <sighs> little harder balance challenge. They could be up overhead. Eight seconds to go here. We're gonna take it to the back. Three, two, one. Now we step backwards, back and up, back and up. <sighs> so now you might feel a whole lot in that front leg. <sighs> now, if you're feeling good here, Take it to a skip, add a little power if you'd like. Press up high. Maybe you drive that knee. Maybe that regular lunge feels great for you this morning. So three options, skip, power leg drives up, or just keep it at that stepping lunge here. Good team, shoulders are back, back over your hips. 20 seconds here. And here, if you're jumping, if you're driving your knee, use the opposite hand coming through to help you get up and off the ground, to help you power. Good. Yes, team, good, Valor. Ooh, I like, right? Three, two, one. Step to the middle here. We're gonna take it to a big crescendo, a single leg lunge, lift and balance. Step it out and up and hold. Down low, up high, catch yourself. Single leg, it's all your power. One leg is straight, one leg is bent. And up. Now this is a willpower move, willpower and grace. So in willpower, you put your hands on your legs and you get a little push with those hands. Maybe you wanna just come right here. Maybe again, hands for balance. 
Yes, good Molly. Great stretch, good Mary. Good team, nice Cheryl, really good. Step to the outside. 13 seconds, we'll go to the other leg. You might start feeling your inner leg here, pulling your foot to touch your standing leg. Three, two, one to the center, other side. Down and lift. Now we're barefoot, right? Use your strong, smart toes down on the ground of that standing leg to hold your balance, to keep your foot planted down on the ground. Feel the instep of your foot that's moving come in and press against your standing leg. Suck that foot up to your leg. Good team, 30 more seconds here. Great work. We have some balance and a quad stretch after this. So we have two minutes of balance coming up. So breathe, get low, work your muscles, keep that pace, keep that rhythm. Seven seconds here. Lots of stuff going on, these big arms, get your heart rate up. All right, other leg, get your balance, step onto that foot. And we're going to pull one foot into our, to our hip. Other hand comes maybe out in front to help with your balance. So this is twofold. This is a quad stretch and some balance. If this is easy, close one eye. If it's super easy with one eye, close both eyes. See if you can hold yourself up here. Chest is up. Your hips are pressing forward. Your two knees are together and have this moment. Press your hand forward. Pretend your hand is resting on a wall. Spread your fingers out. Feel that pretend wall in front of you. See if that helps you hold your balance. Five seconds, we'll go to the other leg. Three, two, open your eyes. Press that other foot down to the floor. Grip with your toes, get your balance here. Grab your foot and hold on. Place your hand up. So sometimes people say, if you even like hook your fingers if, as if you're hooking them in a chain link fence, that kind of gets your brain like, oh yeah, that's gonna help my balance. So you can kind of hook your fingers. Sometimes I like thinking my hand is out, pressing against a wall, helping me with my balance. And closing eyes, close one eye, maybe the other eye this time, or maybe both eyes. And this is what I say to my ski team kids when we're playing around. What happens if we fall down, you guys? We get back up again. We try again. We don't worry about it. We don't stress out. You crash and burn, you get back up and try again. Nine seconds here. We're gonna take it back to those front lunges here. Three, two, here we go. We're back into some movement, down and up down and up. Now, if getting low is hard, maybe you kind of, you have a small step. Maybe your goal is to take a bigger step. Maybe your goal is to be small, but try to go a little bit lower, right? What's your challenge? Maybe you're going to catch gently, power and press up, power up, strong as you pull. Good. Maybe you want to challenge with these arms overhead for a little bit more core work a little more balance as you come down. Good, you're thinking that your back knee, your, your thigh, your quad, your femur bone points straight down to the floor in the back, right? Every time that knee bends, that back leg is pointing down to the ground and coming out. Seven seconds to go, we'll go to the back. Three, two, one. Now we take a step to the back here. So as I was hiking, I was thinking, man, what can I do at home to work on my hiking muscles without just going hiking on a steep trail? <sighs> like at our gym, they have this little ladder, stair climber thing. <sighs> you could walk on your stairs if you were going hiking a lot. You could do a lot of sets, repetitions on stairs in your house if you had them. Here we go. Now, if you wanna get those skips in, Jump it up, jump it up, 
20 seconds here, jump. And we are switching legs. Power knee, press it through. Lift that leg, good Melody. Nice work. Tucker, Tucker, I can't see you, but I know you're working. Three, two, we're gonna take it to this side. Crescendo down, hold it up in balance. Low and high, down. Think hips, hips sink down. And breathe. Maybe you inhale, coming down. Exhale to power up. Good. Low and high. 30 seconds here. Thinking about your foot that's on the ground. Those toes, that leg that's not moving is very solid and those toes grip for you so that when you come up, you're able to snap right into good balance. 14 seconds. Ooh. Sometimes the power of your leg pushes you over. So you have to kind of counteract that momentum up with that stopping. Ready for the other leg. Here we go, back to center. Take it to the other side, low, high. Good, yes, Dawn. I haven't seen those hands come apart yet. She's got her hands in prayer, driving them to the sky. Good, and sometimes that tactile, that bit in there is really good for balance, right? Feeling skin on skin helps your focus. Good, Kathleen, nice. Yeah, Cleo, great arms, stretching, reaching. Good, Tracy. Strong feet down on the floor. 22 seconds here. Yeah, good. Good, good, Amanda. Down, drive, low, 12 seconds. We're gonna take it back to that cougar lunge after this. Side to side. Three, two, one, spread your legs. And we go side to side. Maybe you start with hands on your thighs. Maybe you can bring hands to your heart. Get a little back strength here, little torso strength, and not use your hands. Just use strong thighs, belly button pulled in, back long and strong. Good, we have two minutes of balance after this. So the big cardio pushes over. We're gonna come down for a minute of plank after this, then we'll walk ourselves back up for some standing hamstring curls, some falling push-ups, and a little swimmers on our back and some crunches. So we have about seven minutes left here. Side to side, back is strong. We're gonna walk it out to plank in five seconds. Three, two, one, walk yourself out. One minute of plank. Now, maybe to change it up, keep your feet wide. Keep those feet spread out like they were in your lunge there. Shoulders are over your hands. It was interesting. I took Rochelle's barefoot class on Monday. When she cued for plank, she wanted people to stretch back through their heels. So I want you to try two things. I cue differently. So try right now, stretch back through your heels to help keep your legs straight. I like to cue press into your toes and actually press forward a little. So now go from heels back to toes forward. Tiny little movement change, just different ways to think about it. I kind of like that press forward to keep shoulders over wrists. I'm afraid if my heels go back, my booty's gonna lift up into a bit of a down dog. Five seconds to go here. We're gonna walk ourselves back in. Three, two, one. Walk yourself back up. Stand on one leg. We're gonna get into this hamstring curl here. So we balance, we pull heel to bum, heel to bum. Now I could just do this and kind of flop my leg around, right? But press your leg behind you, pull and squeeze. Maybe even touch your hamstring. Feel this muscle back here working and pulling and tightening. For all the strong quad work that we get squatting, lunging, we have to have strong hamstrings. We have to have the strong back of our leg to hold us here, to have everything 
tight and strong, nothing stronger than the other. We have 16 seconds here on one leg. Now you could hold on to a wall or a chair here, or we're working kind of double time. Some strength of the back body and some balance. Three, two, we're gonna switch legs here. Other side team, step it out, get your balance. Press that leg behind you and pull. Pull, now I'm flexing my foot, that just kind of comes naturally. That feels like I'm getting more pull in my hamstring. You could try it with a pointed toe, see how that feels, right? Again, just little cues for your body that you see. What makes me feel like I'm getting more of a squeeze and a hold in the back. So after this, we're gonna do some marching or some high knees, just to get a little more of that, a little more cardio, but a little more feeling of hiking, of working our legs, working our hip flexors here in the front. So we have 15 more seconds, feeling your booty. Maybe you're feeling your ankle and your standing leg. One minute of balance is a long time. <sighs> Pulling, down and up, pull, three, Two, we're gonna to go to some marching here. Shake it out a little after standing still. I just thought a little movement would feel good. So maybe you kind of bounce it, feels like a run. Maybe you do a little double pump with a little jump on the ground, or maybe you go full high knees for the rest of the minute, 44 seconds, whatever feels good. But driving, feeling the front here, lifting, tight tummy, pulling that leg up, and if you're doing a little bounce, you get some calf work too. Good. And after this, we go to the falling push up. One of my faves, you guys, we'll have our feet out wide, kind of in that down dog position. We'll fall down to the floor, push ourselves back up. 14 seconds. Great, Kathy. Nice. And I realize when I do this, I'm really just skipping. I guess I could have written skip too. Good job, Michelle. Good job, Virio. All right, feet wide. Hands out to catch. Bend your legs. You're going to fall forward. Press yourself back up. Fall and press. Holding your body weight. Catching yourself from hitting the floor. The wider your legs, the bendier they are, the closer to the ground you are. Feet together more, legs straighter. You go farther to the ground, a little more weight in your arms. You can be on a wall, you could be on a table, but you have that moment of weightlessness, of, oh geez, am I going to smash my nose? What's gonna happen here? And then you powerfully press up and say, I got this, my arms are strong. I could do something scary. Seven seconds here, you guys. Three, two, one. Take it out to plank. Walk yourself down to your tummy. We're going to swimmers. So we're going to opposite arm, opposite leg. Maybe you want to be up on all fours, stretching arms and legs. So lying on your tummy, lifting, opposite arm, opposite leg, swimming it out quicker or all fours, opposite arm, opposite leg. We have two minutes left, team. We have 30 seconds of swimmers. We're gonna roll it over for one minute of crunches, and that is us. So squeezing buns, working low back, shoulders. Again, a little glutes and hamstrings here. Lengthening, fingers stretching forward. Toes reaching back, toes are pointed on this one. For me, that's what feels better here. Pointed toes, five, four, three, two, one. Hands down, roll it to your back. We're going one minute of crunches, just your basic. Heels come in, legs are bent. Hands gently at your ears, lifting your chest. I think rather than crunch, I call these lifts, right? It's a chest lift. It's a torso lift. You're not really trying to yank and crunch and get small. I want your torso to stay long and lift to the sky. And breathe, front body here now. We've worked a lot of back body. Now we want the front. 
Anne-Marie, nice to see you. You got here just in time for the beach muscles, for our torso, for our core. And I put core in here, you guys, because as I watched the overnight backpackers at the Grand Canyon, I realized you have to have such a strong back and tummy. Even though your legs are getting all the work hiking, you gotta be able to hold that big backpack up. Three, two, and one. Head comes to the ground, stretch your feet, stretch your arms overhead. Take a couple nice deep breaths, team, we are done. A couple deep breaths here. Roll yourself over, sit on up. You guys, that is us, that's our barefoot. Sometimes when I come up, this little like uh, heel to my bum gets me a little quad stretch. I can just sit here and chat with you guys. I've got my front leg bent, my one leg bent back behind. Team, another fun barefoot class. Fabulous to see you guys. Switch out your legs if you're crossed here or you're bent. Stretch out your quads, right? Stretch out your calves. Don't forget to give your feet some love, maybe even every day. Take a little time when you wake up or before you go to bed. Drink your water, you guys. Fab job. That was a lot, a lot of lunges. That was like eight minutes of lunges today. Ooh, all right. Got my water. I didn't even stop to take a drink of water. We were so fast and furious today. I'm gonna stop recording.